So, Deputy of the Black Pants Legion and I played this wonderful long series uh, called Far Cry 5 with a Cop, which we shot probably two, three years ago now. Yeah. And, and that series is really special to me because that was kind of how we became friends, in essence. We bonded over how terrible that game was. But uh, this game is called Sniper Elite. Sniper Elite was originally a game on PlayStation 2 and PC that was notoriously hard and had snipers. And you were like an OSS agent that had been dropped off in Berlin in the closing days of its fall and trying to get some of the paperclip guys out and make some sure that some didn't affect the Russians or whatever. And it was pretty cool. And then years later, Sniper Elite V2 comes out, which Deputy and I have elected to play through because people wanted to see more and more and more of us talking about guns and history, and this is a game that ostensibly has some of those things. Um, so we tried to play Sniper Elite V2, which is the spiritual successor and or sequel to the original Sniper Elite, only to find that all that is available is this remastered version that looks exactly the same. So without further ado, it is Sniper Elite on difficulty, Sniper Elite. <laughs> Gunther Kreidel, he's an expert in rocket engines. Was wünschen Sie Gunther Kreidel? All right, there's an, a map and some objectives, and we'll just start the game. Who cares? <laughs> we know what we're doing. This will go really well for us, right? Yeah, okay, look. Man, how did he not see us? Dude, he's... This is the end of the war. He's pretending. Okay, I have to remember how to play this. Wait, I remember I can throw rocks at stuff. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. Watch this. I've got a well rock. <laughs> you hit him with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I have to applaud this game's uniform because look at how badass this uniform looks. It's some British uniform, I think. It looks like a hunting or a para uniform, almost. I mean, yeah. it, it looks really wild. But you're wearing American, uh, American gaiters and uh, leggings. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Leggings and boots. That's a, like, P-38 belt. So that's standard British, I think. The buckle's not like that, though. Well, let's let's go let's go do a crawl. Why, why am I the shavehead recruit? Because I am a mighty expert in snipery. Can we move bodies? <laughs> nope. Look at him. Look at how I, he... I got a well rod round from him. <laughs> yeah, because the Krauts have, what, 32 ACP? Ugh. I just assumed that dug it back out of his forehead. Oh, yeah, you can probably get that back. Hold on. There's there's a guy over there. Oh, there's two of them. One second. Let's see if I can do something Still funny. Home? Yeah, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Double kill. Oh! oh. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't cool. That was cool. That was a good shot. Oh shit. Okay, somebody saw it. There is another sniper. They cannot see me because I'm crab walking. Bad spot, fucko. Oh! I already killed one sniper and two Germans with like a handful of bullets. Dude, I'm a fucking hero. I don't know that I would have brought Thompson into Berlin. <laughs> How dare you? 45 ACP is common on this snow. Oh. <laughs> uh, you search that way? Ah, uh, there's gold. There's gold. There's gold? There's gold. I found some kraut gold. Ah, yes, just hidden in the rubble by Goebbels himself. He's just like running around going, oh. I will die for a parfait and some heroin. Oh no, there is a German there. Jesus, he shot me a lot. I shot him. You gotta come give me like a bro five, man. <laughs> I shouldn't just run everywhere. I get it. When your partner's down, it does SOS and Morse code. Well, I am in need of saving. Oh cool, there's a German over there. Would you like to shoot him in his mouth or something? Look at him. Look at him over there. Hold on, let me get my binoculars. Because I can tag okay. the environment. 
which allows yeah, you. Yeah, you uh, you spot for me. Okay, I'm trying to tag. The, see that see that guy? I do. All right. Uh, that was not in the face. He is now leaving. Nope. Um, he oh he <laughs> there has, we go. He has died. Oh, there's a guy in the middle of the street. Holy shit! Holy shit! They see us. Uh, cheese it, boys. It's the fuzz. It turns out that I am really good at observing machine gun fire. Oh. Like, I just took it like a champ behind that Renault over there. I'm dropping right. people over here. You are. I'm using my buddy for cover. <laughs> I, I, I just kill people. The original game was not anywhere near this action intense. It was more like hunting. Well, even before Sniper Elite, there was uh, just Sniper, right? Maybe? And it was, it was oh, like no. A there's a sniper. Game. There's a sniper at the end of there, and you gotta come save me because I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm trying to get over to you without. Is he still just like popping around to you? <laughs> I'm trying to shoot back. I, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna. All right, you're up. Yep, <laughs> that, that one hit your head. No, it didn't. Um, my head's still here. Obviously, didn't. I'm running around real fast because I'm looking for loot. I know there's a loot and I can smell it. I'm sure the Soviets have been here first. Man, there's a lot of oh, dead I can crowns. Pick up this body. Oh, what are you gonna do with it? I got a friend now. Well, what are you gonna do with it? I mean, you can't just carry it all the way out. Watch me. I I think that's illegal. I mean, isn't that illegal? You're not allowed to like just take bodies home. I mean, I I hope they didn't have to put that in. Oh no, did we identify a problem in the Geneva Convention? Do I have a knife or something? No. Why? It's Super, super turbo knife kill this guy over here. Oh yeah, run up and just punch him. Can I? I? Yeah, I think there's a quick interact. If not, I'm right behind you. Okay. I have your back with this Thompson I... that is precise. Push him out the window? No. Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, I alerted him because of the Wellrod's notorious inaccuracy. He threw a grenade at me. You need to run down here, quick, quick. Dude, it, it's not just a friend, it's a bunch. They were trying to flank us. That is remarkable, and I, I voted no. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta think real hard and I'll get my uh, health back. Oh yeah, I, I was trying to throw a grenade and then I forgot how. So, uh, I, I, can, do. I count two at the end of the road. Oh, they're at the end. Hold on, right, 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 right. Oh god. Nope. We are both very dumb. We're both very bad at this. Oh, come on, we, we're recovering the valuable French gold. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. All right, he's done. They want us to march into the kill box. What if, what if we just took this piano, right, that's back here on casters, and just wheeled it toward the enemy? You know. Oh, that's why you don't stand there. Fucking stylistic sniper trying to look all backlit and shit. Well, you know, they had to do something, otherwise people would never find it. Yeah, that's fair. I was you in know, the war the too. People who literally searched through the code looking for easter eggs would never have found that sniper oh shit germans are in there okay get down they're just they're they're pretending like they actually have room service and stuff at this nice little cafe it's really cute I'll pick the one on the right all right let's do this you know it'd be nice oh, yes to... we're going to place it on the very front of the convoy of all the people we just murdered yeah, that doesn't change things. Don't worry about it. Also, you know, it'd be nice to just drive in an Opal Blitz, I think. You know, an Opal Blitz would be a very functional truck. It would be. But granted, we'd have both the Germans and the Soviets shooting at us. I guess we just shoot that thing when they're close, huh? All right. That's a remarkable uniformity. Looks like I did a good job. I don't know that a satchel explosive would do that to an armored car. Like no, that. it might blow the tires off and bend the wheel, but, you know. 
What did you do? I shot the only unarmed man in the conflict. Nice. I just shot that guy's grenade. I saw that. Uh oh. Oh no! Who could have seen this coming? With Zimrit! Zimrit was mostly done by this age. Yeah, I know. But it looks stylistic. It does. It, it screams German. Oh god, he shot me. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he's, he's kind of a dick. The splash damage on that is ridiculous. What's he shooting at us? <laughs> Fucking ghost bullets. Alright, so what, are we supposed to put a round straight down the barrel? No, you have to shoot the gas cap. And it will blow up. You're I'll... joking, right? No, I can do it. I, I just need a second to clear out the street of these Germans, comma, other. The drop on these rounds is getting to be a little bit ridiculous. I know, it's Sniper... Okay, the first Sniper Elite had pretty decent ballistics. This Sniper Elite has heaviest bullets and lowest powder settings ever. Yeah, like, in in, in real life, I would call these squib rounds. Well, yeah, because my zero in a rifle like this might be 400, 600, 800 meter zero. So why should I be dropping, you know, a mil or two at like 50 to 100 meters? That's bonkers. I mean, shit, 308 going out of like an 18 inch barrel is, uh, God, it's impacting at like 32 meters and 200 meters at the opposite ends of its arc. So, all right, let's get out of here. We, we did their ambush. The tiger is dead. We are the victors. Do you know how rich you would be if you took all the gold you found in this mission and went back to America, Kelly's Heroes style. You'd be like, I'd like to buy a Cadillac. And they're like, a Cadillac, sir? And you're like, no, sorry, I meant Cadillac. Although, if you're OSS, you are almost certainly already fucking Playboy rich. Oh yeah. Friends with the Kennedys. Especially in this era? Oh yeah, it was, I mean, generation one, Cold Warriors, man. All right, so. Let's say, let's say, Deputy, uh, favorite war movie. Let me ponder that for a half second. Kelly's Heroes. <laughs> and you're Kelly's Heroes, man? I'm a Kelly's Heroes, man. Kelly's Heroes is very, very good. The Dirty Dozen is up there. It's topical, and that's probably the reason why I'm thinking of it, is a uh, downfall. Der Untergang. Did he ever oh watch yeah, that? that was great. God, that was great. Oh hey, we're going to Middelwerk, which people I, I remember reading the Steam reviews and they said it's fantastical. The Nazis never built a secret underground nuclear facility. This is blah blah blah. And someone was like, uh, yeah, they did. He was just a rookie trooper and he surely shook with fright. He checked all of his equipment and made sure his pack was tight. He had to sit and listen to those awful engines roar. You ain't gonna drop no more. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. He ain't gonna drop no more. Is everybody happy? Cried the sergeant looking up. The hero feebly answered yes, and then they stood him up. He jumped into an icy blast, his static line unhooked. He ain't gonna jump no more. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. He ain't gonna jump no more. He counted long, he counted loud, he waited for the shock. He felt the wind, he felt the cold, he felt that awful drop. The silk from his reserve spilled out and wrapped around his legs. He ain't gonna jump no more. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. He ain't gonna jump no more. The riser swung around his neck, connectors cracked his dome. Tension lines were tied in knots around his skinny bones. The canopy became his shroud, he hurtled to the ground. He ain't gonna jump no more. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. 
hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. He ain't gonna jump no more. The days he lived and loved and laughed kept running through his mind. He thought about the girl back home, the one he'd left behind. He thought about the medics and he wondered what they'd find. He ain't gonna jump no more. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. He ain't gonna jump no more. The ambulance was on the spot, the jeeps were running wild. Medics jumped and screamed with glee, they rolled their sleeves and smiled. Then a week or more since the last shoot had failed, and he ain't gonna jump no more. Sound will splat, the blood went spreading high. His comrades all heard him say, A hell of a way to die. die. And they're rolling round in the welter of his gore. And, and he ain't gonna, gonna jump, jump no more. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. And he ain't gonna, gonna jump no more. Blood upon the risers, there were brains upon his shoot. Intestines were dangling from his paratrooper suit. He was a mess, they picked him up and poured him from his boots. And he ain't gonna jump no more. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. What a hell of a way to die, and he ain't gonna jump no more.